Here's how you can make an existing app into a Farcaster frame. If you haven't heard, Farcaster frames are web apps now. That means if you've built an existing web app that connects to a user's wallet, you can pretty easily make it compatible with frames. So it shows up as a frame in the Farcaster feed. If you do this, this means we'll display an interactive embed in the feed anytime your app's URL is shared. We'll launch users into your app with their mobile wallet already directly connected. Users can save your app to their Farcaster clients and come back to it later. We'll surface your app in search and explore listings in Warpcast and elsewhere. And you can even send in-app notifications to users who've added your app. So let's make Uniswap into a frame. Over here, I have a fresh clone of the Uniswap interface repo. Nothing up my sleeve. We have one commit over here, uh, which is basically converting it so that we can run it on our, our own domain, uniframe.org. And let's take a look at what it takes to convert this to a frame. OK, so we've added the Farcaster Frame SDK and Frame Wagme connector packages. Over here is the entry point to the Uniswap front end. This is where they have all their React providers set up. So first thing is to import and load the SDK. And we'll follow the pattern in here and add a provider for it. Copy this one. OK, so when the app renders first, we'll trigger this effect and basically load the SDK and tell the Farcaster client that the app is, is ready, rendered, and ready to show. So we'll follow the pattern in here and add this. OK, that's step one, loading the SDK. All right, second, we're going to add the frame Wagme connector. So this is how we'll connect directly to the user's Farcaster wallet. And we'll just add this along with the others. Great. So step three, we need to add a meta tag embed. So very similar to open graph meta tags, we're going to add an FC frame meta tag. And this is going to include some encoded JSON data about our frame. Here's what a frame embed looks like. Version, an image URL like an open graph tag, information about the button. So this one we'll call swap, and we'll launch the user into the swap page. And then some metadata about your app, app name, a splash image, and a background color. So for now, we'll just put this on the home page. All right, final step is adding a farcaster.json manifest. So this is a special signed JSON file that associates your app with a Farcaster account. So we can come into the dev tools here, generate the manifest, and your app should serve this at well-known farcaster.json. OK, Uniframe, Favicon. We're going to launch users into the swap page. 
we'll use the Fabicon icon as our default icon, button title swap. We'll use the dark background, 131313. And if you wanted to send notifications, you can define a webhook here. Okay, that's time. Nice. So we've loaded the SDK and called ready when the app renders. We added the Farcaster frame wallet connector to the Wagme config. We added an embed meta tag, really similar to an open graph tag. And we added a farcaster.json file um, served from a public URL. Okay, let's try it out. Uniswap is a frame now. There's our cast. Here's our interactive embed. Tap swap, and I'm launched into Uniswap. Let's make a trade. Base ETH to USDC. I'm connected up here with my already connected Farcaster wallet. And let's make the swap. There we go. So because we added the manifest, I can also go back and find the app from my home screen, launch into it whenever I want. And as the creator of this app, you also have the ability to send the user in-app notifications. OK, so to reiterate, we added and loaded the Farcaster Frame SDK. We imported the Farcaster Frame connector and added it to the Wagme config. We added a frame meta tag on URLs where we want a frame to appear. And we set up a Farcaster.json app association to associate our Farcaster account with this app. And that's it. So you can find this code on GitHub, course slash interface. Take a look at this PR number two, which has all the code we, uh, we just demoed here and a little walkthrough of how, how it all works. You also might be interested, there's an extra credit PR in here too, where we updated all the rest of embeds on Uniswap to also show up as frames. So things like pool URLs, token URLs, uh, NFT collections, and explore pages uh, all show up as frames on Farcaster now, if you use the uh, uniframe.org domain. So cool, that's it. Uh, find me on Farcaster. I'm horsefax.eth. Find us in the Frames v2 channel. We'd love to help you out converting your existing web app into a frame. Thanks.